watching my live, won't click on it. I'm a butt on the road and no tick on it. They tell you about rude, I got a kick on me. I just pray that my dog don't switch on me. What's going on, Reset TV? It's GA, aka Gravitating Away. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what in the funny business is going on. But I've intentionally been not trying to stray in the realm of Diddy's shenanigans. But I got to admit, over the last couple of days, I've been hearing things and been paying attention. And yo, yo, look, it's one thing to bunny hop for white billionaires. It's another thing for drunk billionaires to claim on camera while little baby and Meek Mills riding around in their private jets claiming to give drunk hugs <laughs> whatever that mean but it's another thing to have your you know so called name redacted but then get exposed by characteristics before we get in there i just wanted to read this academics recently claimed you know in a tweet post comment however you see it he says meek mill really had police show up to my house while i was streaming to 30k people last night and boy if y'all ain't checked that out I, I i would suggest you do because if you just want to laugh and not take nothing serious yo academics was somewhat of a comedian now he continues right after the ninja claimed he called the governor to tell him about how many murder academics and murders should never be put together but how many murders i'm responsible for nasty nasty work now i don't know how true that is and whether i like or dislike academics i'm more neutral to him I can say this, there's not a lot of things academic has brought out to the world that has been proven to be a lie. In other words, Meek, you've been taking L's and then my ninja, you drop in a new album with all this ish surrounding you. I mean, Liz, in, in the words of academics, holy, yo, this is not a good look, brethren. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. But going back to the initial exposure the thing that had the likes of academics not just him many other people speaking about an alleged assault happening to meek from the grim reaper himself diddy it's because of this you know exposure right here now in a redacted statement in witness testimony these are court documents it specifies that the alleged victim is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. He performed at the Super Bowl in, well, the second line is about Usher, but I'm not trying to get into the Usher stuff. We're making a video about Meek. But Meek, it literally identified the target. It says he's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. I'm not one for allegations and smear campaigns. But my ninja, the target has been identified, bro. So I wouldn't have came out all rah-rah with a dude that's not rah-rah. Academics ain't rah-rah, and that's the first thing you did, brother. It reminded me when you were saying all this, you know, stuff you would do when you caught Takashi, then you caught him, and it was a bodyguards versus bodyguards versus you and Takashi standoff. And in that scenario, Takashi won. Because you confronted the rat and you didn't do anything. Some folks said you did the right thing because Takashi is a rat and you can't put yourself in those predicaments. But people forget you're the one putting it in the air that when you caught Takashi, you're going to do all sorts of things only to gracefully bow out. Well, with academics, with a guy like that, you're in a no win situation because all he does is basically report the news. You didn't have that smoke for who the alleged uh, sexual allegation happened with, which was Diddy. You didn't even come out and say, you know what? I ain't playing with y'all. If you know me, I ain't about that. That ain't me. I don't know why they allege my name, etc. You just went straight in on academics. Now academics is dropping receipts that you allegedly called the police. Hmm. I'm never surprised by any of you hip hop folks. Children, if you're listening to this, any young folks, please stop glorifying 
these so-called rappers please stop i love the exposure because maybe it'll save some of y'all lives maybe it'll save you from going down the path of wanting to be like some of these weirdos and before you know it you're not who you are you have an identity crisis you're trying to fit in etc but the second half of my video i'm gonna leave it to hassan campbell yes hassan campbell of all folks who wants to shine in on the so-called SA allegations. You know, if you know anything about Hassan, he's had his alleged relationships with Bam Bada, and I leave it as relationships because I don't know what the truth is. On one end, Hassan wants us to believe Bam Bada took advantage of him, and if true, that's horrible. But on the other hand, every now and then, he praises Bam Bada. So I don't understand. I just know at 14, it's not a lot of things men could have done to me. That's just me. But moving forward, Hassan actually presented a great take on this entire situation. Situation. So we're going to finish the video by listening to that. And real quick, guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. And whatever you do, don't get lost with the Diddy sauce because, man, yo, you the way I looked up to some of the music coming from Bad Boy Records in the 90s, I would have never thought this dancing producer slash CEO and our Negro was dealing with this type of madness. I mean, yikes. The United States government has documents in a lawsuit naming the characteristics of Meek Mills participating in unlawful acts, law, <laughs> law, things that things that break the universal laws, things that breaks the laws of nature, things that break the laws of God. We ain't got to go into it. We know how the people is protected. But the reality of it is, you can't blame academics for reporting on, because this is what we do, report on the news. And me, it didn't name you, but it said the Philly dude that dated Nicki Minaj, so we already know that that's, the, that's your character in this lawsuit. The lawsuit against P. Diddy is disgusting. The allegations against P. Diddy is disgusting. The fact that Meek Mills, you are the company that you keep. That P. Diddy company, you are the company that you keep. And in life, you reap what you sow. So because you played with Meek, I mean, you played with Diddy, you parted with Diddy, you became a part of this lawsuit with Diddy. So, you know, so now you know what, Meek? You got to take that, take that, take that. And honestly speaking, it's like, yo, all y'all street dudes that run behind Meek, Meek ain't looking good. And no matter how tough y'all play, how, 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 how I don't care how many goons is behind him, it don't look good. Because the reality of it is, for a while now, we've been watching Meek and certain things like him having them billionaires, the white billionaires talking about giving them giving them hugs from behind. You're gonna get a late night hug? A drunken hug? Don't be making fun of me when I'm drunk. You're gonna get another drunken hug tonight. I don't care what anyone says. You're getting a drunken hug. You too. You too. Drunken hugs are coming tonight. You're gonna get a late night hug? A drunken hug? Sitting back watching Meek in the pool? And P. Diddy sitting up there talking to him? Calling him daddy. King son. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. Sitting back looking at the photo with Meek and Diddy dressed in the same outfit together. And Meek's whole demeanor is feminine. Sitting back watching Meek on the basketball court, on the tennis court, bunny hopping for billionaires. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. On the tennis court, bunny hopping for billionaires. When you sit back and you analyze the demeanor of Meek, how he lost so much weight to him, and the, him looking skinny, him being skinny, actually made him look feminine. When you sit back and you analyze the the, the industry. 
and what it all boils down to. The rich billionaires, like they rap as skinny and petite like women. And when you sit back and you pay attention and you analyze the industry, like, come on, y'all wasn't paying attention. I've been breaking this down for seven years now. It's three years. I don't want to be down with none of these dudes, man. Because a lot of y'all dudes sit up there and act like y'all got integrity. And y'all quote unquote real niggas. But y'all see the ugliness being exposed in that industry. And y'all still stand by these dudes. Not me. <laughs>